Are you looking for a BLE 5.2 regulatory certified module that does not require any RF design or programming? Look no further. Join me on today's episode of Tech Ventures to learn how to get started with the microchip RNBD451 module for your IoT connectivity design applications. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lizina, and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Future Electronics. If you'd like to check out any previous Tech Venture videos, then please feel free to check out the description box below. Today, I'd like to talk about a fully certified Bluetooth Low Energy 5.2 module from Microchip, the RNBD451. The module is based around Microchip's PIC32CXBZ2 Bluetooth Low Energy System on Chip and provides a complete solution to implement BLE 5.2 connectivity. The RNBD451 module uses an ASCII-based control interface that communicates over UART, making configuration straightforward without the need for complex configuration tools or coding. The compact form factor, combined with Microchip's BLE silicon, along with the necessary GPIOs and an onboard PCB antenna, creates an easy-to-use drop-in solution. It's got some great features, such as the ASCII command interface, which is used to control the RNBD451 module, transparent UART, which simplifies serial data transfers over BLE devices, providing an end-to-end -end data pipe to another Bluetooth device, custom special interest group defined GAT services that enable the capability to define up to six public and four private defined GAT services. Each service allows up to eight characteristics and Remote Command Console, which allows a remote device to access command mode via Bluetooth link. This feature requires the user to first enable the transparent UART function. The module supports a wide range of applications from home automation, medical devices, beacon applications, to industrial automation type of applications. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to get started with the add-on board for the RMBD451. We will need a few things before we can get started. A USB Type-C cable, a Bluetooth-enabled smartphone, not included, and the Microchip Bluetooth Data Application app available on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. And of course, the RNBD451 add-on board. The module can't be missed, it is right over here. And uh, if you turn over the board, you'll observe that there's a microbus interface allowing for flexibility and rapid prototyping. There are two ways to power on the board, either by plugging the add-on board into a host board with a supporting microbus socket, or it can be powered through a host PC via the USB Type-C interface. The module and the peripherals are powered by 3.3 volts generated from the onboard 3.3 volt linear regulator. I'm going to power on my board using the USB Type-C connector over here and connect the other end of the cable to my laptop. Next, I'm going to open a terminal emulator application to establish a connection between my module and the microchip Bluetooth data app. My choice is TerraTerm, but please feel free to use your favorite serial terminal program. Configure the serial port settings like so. Once you've made the connection to the module, you'll notice that you're not receiving any feedback from the module on TerraTerm. It's okay, don't worry, we're going to come back to this screen. But let's redirect our attention to the Microchip Bluetooth Data app. In order to use the app, please enable Bluetooth and location services on your smartphone. You'll be greeted with a screen like so. Tap the BLE Smart icon. By default, the RNBD451 module is programmed to behave in the data mode, where the device advertises during power-up. The device that advertises the BLE packets is called the peripheral device. In this scenario, the RNBD451 acts as a peripheral and each peripheral device has a unique advertising name. The smartphone acts as a BLE central device and scans the surrounding BLE advertisement and lists all the available devices in the scan list. Select the RNBD451 device from the scan list. Mine is right over here, and I'm going to click on it. 
Click Connect to establish a connection with your RNBD451 module. Now let's shift our attention back to TerraTerm. Look, there's a sign of life from our board and the connection details are updated in the serial terminal. When connected, the microchip Bluetooth data app discovers all the services and characteristics supported by the Bluetooth module. Click on any of the listed services to get the details about the characteristic. For example, to find the manufacturer name, tap the expand button next to device information service, then select manufacturer name, and here we've got the name in both hex and ASCII format. Let's go back into the app homepage, select BLE UART. This example demonstrates the transparent UR connection between a peripheral and central device. Select PIC 32CXBZ from the available options, select Scan, and select your RNBD451 module. Once connected, the microchip Bluetooth data app opens the transparent UR pipe and is ready to send and receive data. There are two modes that are supported. One is burst mode, which is designed for throughput evaluation via massive data transportation. Once you press start, you'll notice that there's a burst of data on TerraTerm. The other mode is text mode, and that's designed for simple bidirectional data exchange. Select the text mode tab, type in your message, and it will show on the serial terminal program. I'm going to enter the classic hello world, in the app and the RNBD451 module side receives the data which is displayed on the serial terminal of the RNBD451 module. We can also send a message from the terminal to the microchip Bluetooth data app, which is differentiated by the Rx and the parentheses to indicate message received. If you have multiple Bluetooth devices, it may be difficult to keep track of them. We can easily modify the name the RNBD451 module is advertising by going into TerraTerm and entering three consecutive dollar signs so that the module enters into command mode. Type a plus sign to enable echo, or alternatively, you can turn on echo by going into the TerraTerm menu, select setup, navigate to the terminal, and then select local echo. Once you enter a command, you should receive an AOK, -okay, which means that the command was received. This is important because you could also receive an error response, which signifies that the command did not go through. And then enter SN comma, which is the ASCII command for set name. Whoops, I see the duplication, so I'm going to disable the echo through the settings. Uh, just tick the box over there for local echo. Uh, okay, this is good. Notice the error message over there. So going back to my command, I'm going to enter the SN comma followed by the name you wish to change it to. So for myself, I'm going to change it to Lazina is the best. And then enter the commands R comma 1, which is the ASCII command to reboot the module and push the new modules into Flash. Now, you'll notice the connection on the app has been disconnected. And if we go back into the Advertising Devices page, we should find the new name, Advertising. There it is. And if we were to redo the BLEUR example, you'll notice the name change at the top of the app. Well, that was pretty easy. The features of the RNBD451 allows for BLE connectivity to be included in designs with minimal engineering. Using a terminal emulator program such as TerraTerm, we were able to send simple ASCII commands to the microchip BLE module. If you'd like more information about microchips Bluetooth modules, then please feel free to reach out to your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on TechVentures with Lazina.